permission, Mr. Speaker, I will make a statement on the UK gas market. As honourable and right honourable members will be aware, over the weekend I held discussions with Ofgem and energy companies, and this morning I held a further roundtable discussion. Today I will set out the Government's approach to manage the impact of high global gas prices affecting the UK and countries across Europe. To begin, I want to make two points extremely clear. Firstly, Mr Speaker, I must stress that protecting consumers is our number one, our primary focus yeah, yeah, yeah. and will shape our entire approach to this important issue. Secondly, I also want to reassure the House that while the UK, like other countries in Europe, has been affected by global prices, Britain benefits from having a diverse range of gas supply sources. We have sufficient capacity and more than sufficient capacity to meet demand and we do not expect supply emergencies <coughs> to occur this winter. There is absolutely no question, Mr Speaker, of the lights going out or people being unable to heat their homes. There will be no three-day working weeks or a throwback to the 1970s. Such thinking, yeah, yeah, yeah. Mr Speaker, is alarmist, unhelpful and completely misguided. 